Hey guys, it's Marissa. I'm actually finishing a project today. So if you play mystery card with us and every other Thursday on the craft social, this will look very familiar to you. <laughs> we did these little cash um, check holders on mystery card last Thursday. So I started this one. I got to like this point and just to help you with the measurements and how to fold it up and where to put your designer series paper and such. So I finished it up with a fun little belly band. And thanks to Linda Carver, I um, decided that this one would be fun for tea. She said, I think it was Linda Carver who said that she was putting tea in for a friend. And so, you know, your foil wrap packets, two of them fit pretty nicely in here. You can also use this for giving cash gifts or checks with the um, Thanksgiving and Christmas season coming up. But have you guys tried this pumpkin spice Bigelow? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, so if you want to, you can do like I did for this one. And this is like a little tea treat, but it has lots of different uses. So we're, we're tying up loose ends and we're gonna finish that one up today. So let's get started with this project. And I wanna show you my base first. This is Early Espresso cardstock. It's six and three quarters by seven inches. And we're gonna pop it into the Simply Score tool. And we're gonna score it on the seven inch side at two and five. So super simple. Start with an almost square and you're going to fold that up and make a pocket. I need a bone folder, here we go. Okay, so here's our the base of our envelope. Super simple to make it just the right size for the tea bags. We're going to use some tear and tape adhesive, but we're going to put it way down the edges of one of our tabs here. So see all the way to the edge. That way it'll fit a cash um, gift. It'll fit a check. It'll fit two foil wrap tea bag treats. All right, so there's our tear and tape for the inside. Let's get some adhesive here. My designer series paper is this really gorgeous fall paper. This is Gilded Autumn Specialty Paper. I figured if I just showed you my wonderful scraps, you'd get a good idea at all the patterns that are in there. It was out of stock for a little while, but it's back. And you're going to choose two patterns of your choice, designer series paper, one and three quarters by six and a half. Let's go ahead and adhere them to the outside of our envelope. All right, so this is our bottom panel with the adhesive on the back. We're just going to center that guy. I forgot all about my little thumb notch, so I didn't grab my punch. Hold on, I'm gonna see if somebody will help me. That's the one thing about having everybody home in pandemic is I can maybe get somebody to grab it for me. So this is my second little panel. Let's pop that. So you're gonna skip a space and then put your designer series paper on both ends and just center it in. This is going to be, I think, a very useful template for you with the season that we're going into, you know, the gift giving and Thanksgiving season, or even just helping out, you know, so many people need our help. Why not present a cash or a check gift in such a beautiful manner? All right, I've got my grid paper here. So the next thing we're going to do is center. Use the centering ruler so we know where to punch. Uh, let's see here. I need something that I might have a chance at seeing. We're going to put, it's going to be about three and three eighths, and then mark center. Do you guys use your centering ruler? I can't get center without it. And then I got a, I think I used an inch and a half circle for a little thumb notch. So just get in there and using that center. Punch it out, that'll make it easier to remove your cash or check gift. Let's peel the tear and tape and make our pocket. And then fold up and burnish that. So super, super simple. And thanks to Linda, I know, 
think it was Linda Carver. Linda, are you watching today? I think Linda Carver was the one that told me that tea fits and she gave her friend tea in this little envelope. Two little packets. So cute. All right, belly band. Guys that were playing mystery card with me know that I could not decide between a craft, like um crumb cake belly band and a early espresso. You'll be um, informed now to know that I chose early espresso and I went a little bit wider. So this is one and three quarters by seven and a half. And I'm just wrapping it around the envelope. I find that that's the best way to get something that's snug enough to um, hold the envelope, but still loose enough to slide. It's really hard for me to get the mathematics of where to score a belly band. So I have just given up with that. I always thought, you know, it'd be helpful to know, but I always end up with them a little loose or a little tight. So my best advice on belly bands is wrap whatever it is that you want the band to slide from. If you've been in the online classroom for ghoulish goodies and uh, love of leaves or yeah, Love of Leaves Treats class, you'll know that we've been doing a lot of belly bands for boxes. And so if you just kind of wrap and and mark and then crease with your bone folder lining up this long edge so that it's nice and straight. You don't want to fold it down like this. You want to really line that up. Makes this a nice straight line and you can just burnish it. Same here. And then burnish it you'll get a nice straight crease but it'll be the perfect size for your project with a belly band i also put the adhesive on both ends so on this end of the strip it'll go on the outside and on this end of the strip it'll go on the inside and then when you bring these two together you'll get like that double adhesive which will make this even more durable for all the sliding on and off it's gonna to have to do. So see, it's it's not gonna slide off the end, but it does still slide. With the T in there, it's gonna be a little bit bulkier, but I found that it still worked fine to do it that way. So you just slide that guy on. See? So it still works whether you've got T or something flat like a check in there. All right, so let's decorate this guy. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add some ribbon. With a belly band, I like to do ribbon secured with a little bit of tear and tape on the front and on the back. And here you're going to, because what happens with this belly band is you pull this off and if you've got the ribbon and it's loose on the back, you're going to drag that ribbon back and forth. So that little bit of reinforcement will keep that ribbon placed nicely in the front and in the back. Now don't glue it down to the table at this point. Grab your ribbon. And I've got this vanilla uh, weave ribbon. This is from the Forever Greenery Suite. This ribbon is so soft and cottony. It's kind of gauzy. It's almost... Um, casual it's almost I don't know how to explain it it's just a really neat ribbon like nothing we've had before so wrap that all the way round and stick it back into the um, adhesive on the front and then when you cut this away you can cut it away right at the and you have no waste at all and then when you pull this belly beyond the ribbon's got a little bit of a reminder on the back see how you pull it you could wrap all the way around even if you want to so there's our ribbon. Let me slide everything to the side because we're gonna do some stamping now. I'm gonna need a stamp and pierce mat because the stamp set I'm featuring today, I had to pull this out and play with this one more time. That was the plan. As I was doing this style, or, um, this paper, this uh, with you guys in mystery card, not to spoil this one, I had in mind that I would go back to the gather together stamp set and the um, gathered leaves dies. I bought this one at the end of the fall season last year because I really fell in love with after playing with Katie's I really fell in love with this big leaf and these awesome leaf dies from 
the um, gathered leaves. So I wanted to give this one more uh, hurrah, I guess, before we start getting too deep into Christmas things because it's such a worthy stamp set. I also love May This Season Bring You Smiles and Love That Will Last All Year, Season of Thanks, Gather Together. Um, wishing You Well would go great for a, um, like a feel better, a get well, uh, a thinking of you kind of card too. So it's got great greetings. That's our stamp set and our dies. I'm going to get my ink pads, mint macaron, and um, soft suede today. All right, so I just stamped my leaf, mint macaron on mint macaron. I've got a um, circle. I punched it out ahead of time with my one and a half inch circle punch from Very Vanilla. And let's get our sentiment on there, this season of thanks. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to stamp that low of center because we're going to turn this into a tag. Ooh, I love that soft suede. Such a good color. All right, get rid of the ink pads on the stamp and Pierce mat. Cut out our leaves. I need you guys to slide over and you guys to slide over. All right, stamp, cut, and emboss machine. And we're going to use one, two, and three. And then we're going to pop a little bit of this brushed metallic. This is the new specialty from the holiday catalog. Right on there and add the leaf. I did this so that it would fit. Now it's like a puzzle. I was trying to cut it really close so I don't scar all the rest of the paper and I use as little as possible. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way I had that set up or not. We'll see. I'm a little concerned about the one corner there. Oh, well. And then our leaf, we can cut out our stamped image, both from the same die set here. Just line that up. And I like to give myself a little extra security. I've got some little washi tape here, just a little tech tape. You can use a masking tape or some use like medical supplies like a low-tech paper tape whatever works i'm finding that i have mixed feelings about my magnetic platform so i've kind of gone back to my regular platform and then tack it down with a little tape it's an extra step but it's worth it after you've stamped it to make sure that you cut it out right so there's our gorgeous leaf and then wait till you see this one this one's really cool so it cuts out the leaf but it also, are you ready? Look at this. Look at the texture that it impresses on also. One of the coolest set of dies. So this one has um, been around in the, the catalog for a little while, but tis the season and I wanted to give it the attention it deserves. All right, back to our envelope here. Where is my dimensionals Aha. all right I'm gonna put a few dimensionals and I'm going to adhere my leaf first and we're just gonna build these up right on the belly band and I like to put the adhesive on the belly band that way you know that when you put the leaf on you won't have adhesive extending past the edge of the belly band you don't want to glue your um, envelope shut and then I'll pop another one, kind of, <clears throat> pardon me, pardon me. And then my little metallic one, let's get that guy on there. Aha, scrap a Cajun craze. I've got my favorite Plantler's Punch. Don't try to look that one up in the catalog. It's not really called Plantler's. That's just what we call it around the craft social. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sprig punch, and we're going to do two out of Cajun craze. Not sure how much I, t I trust this multi-purpose liquid glue. I might switch over to glue dots. Ah, not bad. little glue at the base of the leaf, and we're going to tuck it right in. I want to protect this a little bit because it's delicate, so not too far off of the um, early espresso. If it hangs too far over, it's going to take a lot of abuse when you pull this belly band off. And then we'll grab our season of thanks. And I just want to kind of audition that so I can see 
where this other plantler is going to stick out. And I want again, not too far off of the early espresso, but I want to see it back there. Brings that pop of color that I'm looking for. I have my handy dandy, well-worn, um, one eighth inch circle punch. And we're going to pop a little hole in a tag and bring our ribbon back in. All right, through the back. We're gonna tie a little bow. I don't make a knot here. That'll just add bulk. I just fold and then bring from the back to the front. Now at this point, if you wanna adjust the size of your bow, you kind of put your thumb in the loop and then pull the tail. Isn't that pretty? It's such soft ribbon. Let's cut the tail and cut away from the spool. Little Stampin' Dimensionals, and we are all done. Oh, no, we're not. I'm going to add some sparkle, too. almost forgot about my sparkle. I'm in love with the champagne rhinestones. I think they bring such a great sparkle to any project. Let's do a little bit of bling. I need my take your pick tool. I've become very dependent on it. I'm gonna pick up varying sizes. I tend to do, um, uh, what is the word, uh, odd numbers. So I'm gonna do three or five when I do sprinkles. So we'll go this way and then couple down this way. So three up, two down. Kind of a usual for me. There you go. Season of thanks. Our little tea holders. All right. There it is, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Here's the Christmas version. Let's see if we can get them both in there. All right, I'm seeing them both. I don't know if you guys are. I hope so. There's our little Christmas version. Oh, I promised. Do you guys want to sneak peek of the wrap it up for the holidays class this one will be open for registration next week that's really cute oh my gosh i'm trying not to toot my own horn too much but i love this one. Oh, hold on i'll get it all right okay okay i'm back all right so i told you that this one was warm up for wrap it up for the holidays and the idea behind wrap it up for the holidays is things that you can make a bunch of so i have candy cone, candy cane pocket. I love this pocket. It's a brand new design for me. And I was hating how when you put a candy cane in a regular pocket, because it's so tall, it makes everything bulge, like everything bows and bulges. And then the edges don't line up straight. So I've got a brand new design for a candy cane pocket. So there's one. And then I have an awesome gift card pocket. You know, we'll need a lot of gift cards this year. So here's our little gift card pocket. A little belly band. I've been on belly bands. Last three classes, belly bands. Um, either boxes or treats. And now this one, I love this pocket. This is a, a new design for me too. Let's get that guy on there. And the little jingle bells, aren't they great? And the jingle bells come in gold, shaded spruce, and cherry cobbler. So you can really mix and match those. There's a fun little note peeking until Christmas box. And then happy Christmas with my little doll, Caramel Santa. Those are three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So you could put those at every place at the table or you could, I don't know, you could give those out all over the office, send them into the teachers and then my cookie box. So the idea behind this cookie box is that these shortbreads are available at my Dollar Tree, four for a dollar. And they're pretty tasty too. And the wrapping with the plaid is pretty festive but the idea is like if you do like refrigerator cookies that are sliced or smaller cookies you could put some parchment paper in here line a few cookies and give a little cookie box so that's our cookie box and that is wrap it up for the holidays it's going to be fifty dollars with the kits a half a pack of paper a package of bells linen thread and just jade ribbon plus a kit for every project $20 for just the PDFs and videos in the online classroom. 
And um, if you want to add on the bundle, you can do that, the gift wrap bundle. And if you want to add on Itty Bitty Christmas, you can do that. So look out for all the details to register for Wrap It Up for the Holidays on Tuesday. <laughs> I was really, really happy with that class. All right. So, and that's not it. Like the, you should see the next two Stampa Stacks. Um, they're really, really fun. And then the next product class is great too. And you guys know what to do. If there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. If you want a link for the wrap it up for the holidays class, just let me know. You can email me and I'll send you a link. The, the details will be fully out on the blog on Tuesday. And if um, I, you want Stampin' Up! supplies, products, you can order 24-7 marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. All right, you guys. Make it great. Thanks for hanging with me. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.